In this example, we want to uh, express the following table of data uh, as a relation uh, S. And re recall now that uh, a relation is just a set of ordered pairs. So um, this is a table of matching data values. And uh, those matching data values are arranged in uh, rows in this table. Uh, they could also be arranged in columns, but they're arranged in rows in this table. Um, and so um, uh, to uh, think of these uh, matching uh, data values as uh, ordered pairs um, is very simple. We're simply going to think of uh, uh, each of the x values in the uh, matching pair as uh, the x coordinate of the ordered pair and each of the y values in um, a matching pair of data values as the y coordinate in an ordered pair. And that gives us then a set of um, ordered pairs, which is exactly the definition of a relation. So um, let's rewrite, rewrite this uh, table of data as uh, a set of ordered pairs, as a relation. So um, we do that by uh, writing s equals, because we want to call this relation s. Remember, uh, a relation is a set. So I'm going to enclose the elements uh, of my set in curly braces. And uh, the elements uh, of this set or, uh, are the ordered pairs. So the first ordered pair is 10 and 8.5. Uh, the second ordered pair is 12 and 10.8, uh, and uh, so forth. So there's our uh, table of data, uh, our table of uh, uh, matching values um, expressed as a relation.